Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 540, single element in a sorted array. So here we are given a sorted array and each and every element will appear twice and only one element will appear exactly once. So we need to return that particular element. And we need to write an algorithm with the time complexity of log of n and with the constant space. We will see the logic and the code for this problem. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have taken the second example from the LeetCode website. So we know from the question we are given a sorted array and we need to write a log n time algorithm. So we are going to use binary search. So initially I'm going to have the left and right pointers where the left and right pointers are the indices of the first and last index, right? So left pointer will be zero and right pointer will be six. Then I need to find the middle element. So I will add left and right pointers and I will divide by two, where I'm going to get three in this case. So my middle index value will be seven. So middle pointer will be pointing to index three, which is the value seven. Right. So my middle index is three at start. Now I will check whether my middle index is odd or even. If it is odd, I will reduce my current middle index value by one. So in this case, we have a odd index. So I'm reducing it by one. So my middle pointer will be pointing to index two now. So why I'm doing like this is because this will make me to have an even length set of values in the left and right subarrays. So this was my original middle value at the start. So now after adjusting, after, after reducing it by one, now I am having the left subarray and the right subarray in an equal length. So here we have a length of three values in the left subarray. This is my left subarray and this is my right subarray. So we could see both subarrays have an equal length of values. This was my original M, the index three. So we are just adjusting that. Now I will write a condition by checking the current middle value, which is nothing but seven, and the value that is after this value, middle plus one, which is nothing but three in this case. So it I'm going to check the after value and the current middle value. If they are equal, now I will move my left to pointer two steps ahead of my middle value. I will add two to my current middle index value, which is nothing but two here plus two will give me four. So I will move my left to pointer to the index four, right? So now my left pointer will pointing to the value 10 now. Right. If it is not equal, I will move my right pointer. I will show you guys in the next step. Now I will find my new middle value, which is nothing but four plus six. The so four is the left pointer and six is the right pointer index. So I'm going to add both. I'm going to get 10. Then I will divide by two. I will get five. So my middle index value is five right now. So my new middle is five. So my M pointer will be pointing to the index final. Now I need to check whether my current index is odd or not. Yes, it is an odd number, right? So I will reduce my middle index. So it will be four, right? I will reduce my middle index by one since I had a odd index previously just to balance the left and the right subarrays. Now I will check whether my current middle value 10 and 11 are equal, the after middle index value. Since they are not equal in this case, I will point my R pointer to the current middle value. So my while loop will exit now. My while loop only runs if the right pointer is strictly greater than my left pointer. In this case, both are equal. So I'm going to come out of the loop and I'm going to return the left pointer, which is nothing but 10. 
right so basically if my middle value and the middle plus value are equal then i will move my left pointer by middle plus 2 else if they are not equal like in this case i will make my right pointer equal to my current middle value that's all the logic is now let's see the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i'm going to have left and my right pointer pointing to the first index and the last index right of my input array then i'm going to write the while loop where left is strictly less than my right pointer then i'm going to calculate the middle value middle index i'm going to use the floor operator then i'm going to check whether my middle index value is odd or not so if it is odd i'm going to reduce the middle value by one then i'm going to write the if condition if my current middle value and the value after my current middle value middle plus one if they are equal then i will move my left pointer by adding two to my current middle value two steps ahead of my middle current middle value right then if it is not equal i will make my right pointer point into the current middle value then finally i will return the left pointer value that's all the code is now let's run the code As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Happy learning. Keep supporting. Cheers, guys.